What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and today we've got a very special guest. This is the OctaCore version, the Samsung Galaxy S4. We've had the carrier version in for a little while, but we didn't get to do an unboxing because it didn't come in a box. So this is the Samsung Galaxy S4. It's the GT i9500 in case you are keeping track at home. A lot of good stuff here inside of this sort of fake wood looking box. Let's go ahead and open it up. So first, let me thank our friends at Negri Electronics for hooking us up with this guy. They've got all the Samsung Galaxy S4 variants, whether or not you want unlocked, quad core, carrier versions, whatever it is, they've got you covered for the Galaxy S4 and really every unlocked device. So link down below to go check them out. All right, so let's take a look around the box. It looks like wood, kind of feels like wood, but it's just paper. But around here on the back is kind of interesting. It's all, it all looks to be in French. And when it mentions processor, there are two quad core processors here. Uh, at different clock speeds, so one is a 1.6 gigahertz quad core, one is a 1.2 gigahertz quad core. So combine those together, you get all eight cores. Uh, kind of interesting. Uh, no support though for LT on this guy, but you do have HSPA plus. So we'll go ahead and cut the little paper seal here and open it up. Here is the Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, looking very similar to uh, the Sprint version we took a look at earlier. Push it off to the side for just a quick moment. See what else we're going to have in the box. Uh, we've got a handbook in the box. You've got your charging and sync cable. Got your wall wart, which is a little bit on the larger side. We've got the battery, which is the same size as the carrier version. It's 2600 milliamp hours. Then we've got a pair of headphones um, with mic built into them. Let's go ahead and peel off the plastic. That's always some of the most satisfying whooshing noise that we get. Ah, brand new phone. Uh, so the battery is fully removable. Pull off the back. There we go. More stickers. It's that same uh, plastic back that we saw uh, on the carrier Galaxy S4 and very similar to the Galaxy S3. So we'll go ahead and pop in the battery. We'll go to settings, show you that it is indeed running Android 4.2. Um, this is a new setup here. It's got connections, my device, account, and more. Android 4.2.2 on there. So I give Samsung credit for getting that guy shipping. Uh, so from dimension standpoint, same as the carrier version, 5.38 inches by 2.75 by a very thin 0.31 and weighs 4.59 ounces. The big story here, though, is the screen. Uh, it's a full 5-inch 1080p display with a 441 ppi and it's a Super AMOLED Plus 13 megapixel camera. Uh, on the back, two on the front, and again, that's the same from the carrier version. Uh, there are some sort of metal-esque accents here on the S4 that weren't on the S3 that make it feel very good to have. Now, they're still plastic, uh, but it definitely makes the phone uh, feel a little bit better in the hand. All right, so we've got the octa-core awesomeness in my right hand. We've got the carrier quad-core version in my left. I'm curious what the quadrant scores are going to be on each. I haven't tested the full quadrant score yet on either of these, so I I've got no idea. Uh, what it's going to be, but let's have some fun uh, and see what the scores come back at. And I know Quadrant's not the most clinical, accurate way to test uh, performance, but it's what I use in all of my benchmarks. At least it gives a pretty interesting score. Uh, so let these guys run and, and just see what happens. And again, you can see the difference between both phones. Um, really not much. On the carrier version, you've got uh, some Galaxy S4 branding down below. You don't have any sort of branding here on the OctaCore version. Uh, kind of interesting. Uh, we did a reset on each, and I will say that the OctaCore version booted up uh, much quicker than the quad core version, but again, this didn't have to go through the sprint splash screen. Let's see what we got uh, again, octa core, quad core. And again, this might have just used one of the quad core chips. Uh, we got a score of 12,858, we got a score of 12,607, so not as big a difference uh, as I thought uh, with both these guys. So, just bear that in mind. Again, we'll do full comparisons uh, of each of these and put them head to head against some of the big phones out now. Uh, the iPhone 5. Let's see how everything holds up. For now, I am John Renger from Techno Buffalo. Please give this video a thumbs up. We most definitely appreciate it. Uh, check us out at technobuffalo.com for all of the Galaxy S4 news. And I'll see you guys in the next video.